If you follow the Philadelphia Eagles at all, you know that joint practices are almost more important than these preseason games. I'm not gonna say almost, they are. Last year, they took the joint practices far more serious than they took the preseason games. This is where we're gonna learn a lot about this offense and this defense, but mostly about this offense because it's gonna be very controlled. So I wanna tell you three things that you gotta watch out for against the Cleveland Browns in these joint practices. Let's get it, y'all. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast. So today we are going to talk about three things that I am going to be watching out for in this joint practices against Cleveland. We all know, we all know that Nick Sirianni, Howie Roseman, they love these joint practices. This is where they feel like they can control the environment and they can see what they want to see. They can fix what they need to fix. So I'm going to talk to you about what I think those things are going to be. Before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. We are on the road to 4k and i am running out of driving puns so just join the family you know what i'm saying but (laughs) let's get right into it man uh the third one i'm gonna say you know and honestly there's really no order of importance but i'm just gonna you know give you three uh the first one or the third one however you want to really put it I'm going to say this red zone offense. I've said this before. I've said this, you know, I believe in in the Jalen Hurts video, what he had to do to, you know, take that next step. And I truly believe that is a one issue that I am really kind of concerned about. Obviously, we look at the preseason game. We were right outside of the ends of the red zone, excuse me. But we heard a lot about the most previous uh, practice, most recent practice that they went like one for five or one for six in those red zone type of situations. And I don't want to hear that. I want to hear the Philadelphia Eagles getting better on, you know, in those situations. That is a very, very key situation, especially when you look at our type of offense. We're not necessarily a huge play type offense we're not the type of offense that has a Tyreek Hill out there Uh, you know we're not the Kansas City Chiefs we're not gonna throw a bunch of 60 yard bombs for touchdowns we're most likely gonna move down the field methodically you've seen that we still have that running game we still have those short passes that you saw towards the end of the year last year and even in the preseason game you saw a lot of stuff wanting to be right in front of him right we wanted to keep everything in front of him some of them he went to the second third read kudos to him and those weren't right in front of him but if you really break it down and look at those snaps he was trying to keep the ball in front of him and I think that's going to be a theme of this year just try and move the ball down the field take your time and then once you get in the red zone you actually execute so the red zone snaps that's going to be huge to me Cleveland has a pretty good defense so it'll be a good matchup I think for both sides I think this will test both sides we're going to learn a lot about this offense we are going to learn a lot so number three is going to be red zone offense for me um number two is going to be this defense i know i said that you know we're going to learn mostly from the offense so i'm not going to like nitpick which area i'm going to learn about from the defense but i want to hear some good things about this defense i want to hear some takeaways i want to know that they weren't just bullying our offense because there's been a lot there's been a lot of days that we hear the defense has gotten the best of the offense and that's not a slight towards any individual player on the offense just means that the defense was having good days i want to hear that my defense is close to elite i want to hear my defense goes out there and bullies another offense makes another offense upset right when we look at the Jets game the first half they were inept they they weren't doing anything about against any of our defenses obviously they were able to come back and win that game but what does that tell me that tells me that we have a defense that can make some things happen make some plays happen so I want to see that against Cleveland Cleveland is obvious step up from the Jets you know this is not you know, I, I feel like I've been talking junk about the Jets for the past week, but it is what it is. I'm trying to lower my expectations because it was the Jets. But I want to see us go out there and bully somebody else. I want to hear some plays from Nicobe Dean. I want to hear Jordan Davis is pushing back their their offensive line men. You know, let's pluralize that, right? Not just one. I want to hear he's taking on double teams, triple teams, and he's pushing those boys back. I want to hear that Fletcher Cox is getting in there. Brandon Graham has looked good throughout training camp. I want to know that's not just because he feels comfortable at the at the facility right i want to see all this and and i think that it's fair to ask for this because this is where and like i said this is where the the coaching staff and the franchise and the players are going to go hard we know that we know that they're going to go hard this is going to a different level of competition when you're playing against your own guys even when you're in the preseason game you know i only got six snaps i'm gonna go hard for these six snaps and 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 walk my happy behind to the the bench right And, and chill for the rest of the game but when you're in this situation you 
you know people are going to tweet about this people are going to hear my one-on-one against a guy on another team and this is where you're going to get that you know bragging right so i think it's going to be a different level but so number two is going to be the defense overall i just want to see this defense improve i want to see this defense go out there and make some plays against people not in our jersey and i think that's fair to ask you know um and then i'm gonna give an honorable mention okay i'm gonna give an honorable mention cam jergens played his tail off in that preseason game i mean you, you know ross if you didn't watch the preseason game ross tucker a former offensive live it himself was gushing over the kid and and rightfully so he was a he was very very good in that preseason game i want to see you curtail that into something else right let's go against uh cleveland has some good players obviously on that defensive line in that front seven let's see you get into that second um level right let's see let's see you push some of those boys over i want to hear some good things about cam jergen so he's going to be my honorable mention that i'm kind of looking out for number one i you know there's so many different ways i can go here i you know part of me wants to say jalen hurts what are you going to do jalen hurts you know but i'm tired of talking about jalen because i've said before and i'll say it again this this team's success is not hinged on jalen hurts it really is not if he's great then this team is going to go with him don't get me wrong but if he's the same player that he was last year at worst I think we can still be a good team. So I don't want to keep on sitting here saying, you know, Jalen, Jalen, Jalen. I liked what I saw out of those first six snaps. Obviously, I want to see that continue, but he's not the guy I'm keeping my eye on. He's not. He's not the guy I'm keeping my eye on. You want to know who I'm keeping my eye on? I'm keeping my eye on three guys. I'm keeping my eye on Quez, on Devontae Smith, and um, A.J. Brown. That's who I'm keeping. I'm keeping my eye on this wide receiving uh, core. You're supposed to be great. And I think we're going to be great. I really do think we're going to be great. But I want to see you be great, man. I, there's some good cornerbacks in, in Cleveland. And there's going to be some good fun to be had at those battles. I want to see these wide receivers lining up wide. And I want to see these guys winning some one-on-ones. You've been dogging. You've been dogging my dude Darius Slay all camp. Apparently, you know what I'm saying, AJ Brown. Let's go do it to the number one out in Cleveland. I, I, I this is gonna be so much fun. This is when it really becomes. It feels more like game situations, even though you know everything's you know controlled and there's no. Uh, there are refs out there, but there's obviously no time clock. They're not necessarily going off real game situations, but they're putting everything on the line. They're gonna put real plays out there. They're gonna put the players in positions that they're gonna realistically put them in in the game situations and preseason you just don't see that in preseason everybody's playing some form of zone coverage everybody's playing back nobody really wants to get hurt it's not that important to people anymore these are what it, this is what it's all about i know you guys are like bad joe get over it so it's, it ain't even start yet and i'm hype i'm hype so i'm gonna have a video for you guys after practice as well and maybe tomorrow or as soon i'm gonna go live again and we're gonna we're gonna get those ro rolling again for the season but uh i just wanted to give you my three things to watch for i'm excited this is what i've been waiting for if i'm being 100 percent with you like preseason was cool to see everybody in their jerseys but this is when it gets real this is when it gets real boy so you guys let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments but other than that y'all know what it is right or you should know what it is if you you know what it is this fly goes fly and and we out here peace Touchdown, touchdown, time to get Jalen in this ring. You don't really want to start a thing. This a bird game nation, baby. It's a Philly thing. Hater, and you looking like you type trash. I'm just here calling on Philly, Philly, the podcast. And we can call a man dog. Or watch my score off the hand dog. Rest of the division, your man saw. Jackson like Sean, hunting like Randall. Season head, early time to do a minute. Your boy Philly Fresco. Thanks for tuning in.